Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Today I'm going to make a Hong Sao Tofu, braised tofu. Um, usually when Chinese say braised, we mean um, to, to, it's going to have some sauce and uh, stew dish with uh, soya sauce. Okay, so um, of course today we are using the tofu here. So I have two pieces of traditional tofu. There are so many kinds of tofu here. Probably uh, easier to use for this particular dish is something maybe firmer so that it doesn't break too easily. Yeah, easier for us to operate. So shortly I'm going to pan fry or deep fry uh, these two pieces of um, firm tofu. And actually I have, this is not tau kwa. Tau kwa is even firmer. Yeah, this is the traditional pressed tofu. Um, and I cut it into uh, chunks like this. Right, okay. You still have to be very gentle with it, yeah, very delicate. And some um, uh, minced pork, I use minced pork, you can use minced chicken, yeah. And uh, this is probably about 30 40 grams. After that, uh, this is some um, um, chopped garlic, ginger, and also spring onion, the white portion of the spring onion. And this is uh, fermented soya bean about close to about one tablespoon and this is the spring onion beans last but not least this is actually the chicken stock yeah one bowl of chicken stock so you prepare a wok or a small pan we are going to fry the pan fry the uh, tofu give it the two three tablespoon of oil inside heat it up a little bit and carefully put in the tofu this is faster but it may splatter because of the water inside the tofu okay so you still want to be a bit careful you can lower the heat a little bit if it started to splatter too much broken a little bit okay we want to very slowly uh, pan fry the tofu for a couple of minutes uh, until the surface surface to be charred a little bit that will definitely enhance the uh, beany flavor from the tofu itself okay okay this is uh, after another about one minute Slowly you can flip it using a spoon. Or a spatula. Yeah. Many people always like to ask Appa why is it Appa can or why will use a spoon? Uh, now the thing is if you are I'm using a fire stove then the I cannot use a spoon, it will be too hot. But because Appa using electric hook and or an induction cooker so it is not as hot as fire stove so using a spoon is still viable and for delicate things like this it's actually good to use a spoon but you don't have to follow me lah. use anything you like okay that whatever it works for you yeah there's no rules in our kitchen remember Enjoy your cooking life. All this is home cooking. Don't stress yourself out. If you really break some of the tofu, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. So I'll give this side another about a minute or two, then I will take it out. And uh, it will be easier if you can use a non-stick like what I'm using now. Okay, Non-stick is definitely easier. It will not stick so easily. Alright, this is after another a minute or two on the other side. It should be fine. I just want to char the surface. Okay, so I will just uh, set this aside. Okay, so next, change to a bigger wall. Because now we are going to fry the whole dish. 
Uh, put a little bit, two, three tablespoons of oil here. Heat it up a little bit. And we're going to start with uh, sauteing the minced meat. You can marinate the minced meat with a bit of light soy sauce and white pepper if you like. Let's saute this for about 2-3 minutes before we continue. We'll come back shortly. Okay, it's after about 2-3 minutes. Next thing, we are going to push the minced pork or minced meat to the side. And put in the ginger, garlic and also spring onion, the white portion of the spring onion. And not forgetting the fermented soya bean. Now there are usually few types of different kind of um, fermented soya bean. I usually prefer the salty type. There are one type which is sweetened. Uh, I don't like the sweetened type. No right or wrong, just personal, fav uh, personal uh, favorite, preference. I choose the salty type, yeah? So tie them together. Ooh, now it's very fragrant. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you cook and you suddenly think, that, hey, how come uh, I cook the same dish but I can never get what my grandma used to, uh, the flavor that my grandma used to uh, have or used to cook for me, Try adding things like salted black bean or fermented soya bean. That is probably the kind of old flavor that you did not put inside your uh, dish. Try it out. These are very old flavor. Tao chu, yeah, it's also called tao chu, which is a very common uh, ingredient used in Asian family. All right. Now we can actually. Add in one bowl of chicken stock. I always make my own chicken stock, but of course now things are easier because I use my own chicken powder. Just put it inside the hot water and become chicken stock. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, now we are going to uh, put in some seasoning with some a bit of oyster sauce, about one tablespoon to start with. Okay, some uh, light soy sauce, about one tablespoon around there. If you don't mind taking alcohol, then you can put some sauteing wine. No need to find replacement uh, if you don't take alcohol. And this is uh, for the sake of color. A little bit of dark soy sauce. Okay, this is really more for the color. Immediately you start to see the color changing. A bit of salt. And a bit of sugar. Now, we can put in the fried tofu just now. Nice. And I'm going to close this with a lid, tune down to medium or medium low and let it simmer for minimum 10 minutes, 10 to 15, yeah? Let it reduce by itself and we will come back after this. Okay, this is after simmering for the approximately 10 minutes. Wow, very, very fragrant. Okay, around, uh, you just, uh, you can give it a taste and you can adjust using uh, salt and sugar to get the right taste you wanted. Um, I'm going to off this. Put in some of the spring onion. Uh, I will add a little bit of starch solution. This is uh, optional, up to you. Okay. Give it a few 
push and a few dashes of white pepper and it's done okay we're going to serve okay I still have some spring onion garnishing on top done so here's my very simple Hong Sao Tofu Braised Tofu. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.